hello Providence Children's Museum friends and families. My name is Abby. I'm a museum educator here at the Providence Children's Museum through the AmeriCorps program. And today we are going to do a super cool experiment with you guys. So, some of you, if you've ever swam in the ocean at a beach, you might know that when you float in the ocean, it's a little different than when you float in, say, a lake or a pool. And we are going to do an experiment today all about density that might tell us why that happens. So there's a couple things you'll need for our experiment. You'll need four clear glasses like I have in front of me. You will need some salt, some sugar, some baking soda, and of course, some water. You'll also need a nice towel just in case you have any spills so you can clean it up right away. And you need four objects, four small objects, that are about the same size and the same thing. For example, I have my four game pieces right here. They're all the same size, they weigh the same, they're made of the same thing. The only thing that's different is two of them are blue and two of them are white. Next thing we're going to do, as I have already done, you want to make sure that each of your glasses is labeled with water, B, soda for baking soda, sugar, salt. We're going to take our water and take each glass and carefully fill it up. I usually go about halfway or a little more than halfway. It's okay if you put a little more or a little less. You don't have to put the exact same in each glass. You just want to put about the same. And once they've all got some water in them, we want to make sure our water's out of the way. We wouldn't want to accidentally knock it over and spill it. So next thing we're going to do, we're going to go through and we're going to add to our water. So our first glass, if you remember, we labeled it water, which means we're not going to add anything to it. That one is all set. This one we labeled B soda. So we're going to take our baking soda. If you're at home, it's a good idea to use a measuring scoop or a spoon. At the very least, you should definitely do this with your parents' help. Okay, I'm going to carefully pour some baking soda in. That looks like a good amount. And then I'm going to take my special stirring straw and mix it up. You can tell when it's really been mixed in because it'll be this nice kind of close to a white color. So we're going to take our next glass, and if you read that outside label, it says sugar. So we're going to take our sugar, and we're going to pour in some sugar. You can see there's a good amount of sugar sitting at the bottom of the glass, so it's time to mix. Hold it up there, and you can see that little pile of sugar has now been mixed into the glass. Now that we are done mixing, our sugar, and we'll move on to our salt. So again, we're going to take our salt. We want to make sure there's a good amount of salt in our glass. Now we're going to mix up again. Okay, now that we are done prepping our experiment, it is time for the actual experiment. We're going to take one of our four items, and we're going to drop one in each glass. So first thing, we'll drop it in our water, and we see that it sinks right to the bottom. We'll make sure we turn it to the side so you can see our little blue piece right there at the bottom. We'll turn this to the side so you can watch. Now we're going to take our nice white piece. And see, it sank a little and then bounced right back up and is now floating at the top. Our sugar we're going to turn to the side, and our blue piece sank to the bottom. And it's just kind of sitting there. It's not flat against the bottom like it is in our water, but it did sink. And then our salt water. I'll turn it to the side again so you can see. And you'll see in our salt water, it floats right back up to the top. It didn't even bounce down like it did in our baking soda. As we saw, my friends, adding different materials change the density of our water. That has to do with how much weight it can hold up. So you can see, for example, in our regular water, it was not dense enough to hold up our little game chip. But when we added some of our others, like our salts, for example, 
it made it so that the water was dense enough to, for our game piece to float right on the top. Uh, another cool thing you can do is you could try out with different objects. Like I used game chips, but we could see, oh, I wonder what changes when we use acorns instead, or rocks, or seashells. And you can try this experiment again with lots of different objects. Or you can add in different things. Make sure, of course, to check with your parents, but you could add, let's say you could add some soap, and if you mix it really well, see if that changes the density of the water. There's lots of cool ways to experiment with density. You wanna make sure, of course, that you're checking with any adults in your life, but other than that, there are so many cool things you can do with this experiment. I hope you have lots of fun. Thanks for hanging out. Bye.